So now we're looking at triad exercise uh, 1.1.5 again, but now we're going to look at an alternate way of solving. Uh, it, it's just our initial step, but instead of distributing the one-third, we can also get rid of the one-third by multiplying both sides by the reciprocal or multiplying by the denominator of our fraction. So we'll take this side and multiply it by 3. We'll take this side and multiply it by 3. So 3 times 1 third, that just ends up being 1. So these cancel. And we're left with 6u plus 3 on the left hand side. And then distributing that 3 on the right hand side, we have 21 minus 3u. So our next step, we want all of the variable terms on one side, so we'll add 3u to both sides. So we have 9u plus 3 equals 21. We want the variable terms alone on the left side, so we'll subtract 3 from both sides to get rid of the 3 on the left-hand side. We get 9u equals 18. And finally, we will divide both sides by 9, which gives us u equals 2. Now, we already checked previously, but we'll go ahead and check again ju just to show the method of checking. Okay, it goes back to the original problems from this section where we were given an equation and asked if values were solutions. We follow the same process here. We just substitute what we solved for u into our equation. So, one-third times 6, and we solved u to be 2, plus 3 equals 7 minus 2 when we substitute for our u. So that ends up being 1 third times 12 plus 3. Again, we want to know if that equals 7 minus 2 equals 5. So this ends up being 1 third times 15. Still have 5 on the right hand side. 1 third times 15 is 5. So again, it does indeed check. And u equals 2 is the solution to our equation.